The MP for North Belfast, Nigel Dodds, is here. The police have put it up to politicians to sort this out. Over 60 police officers hurt over the last two nights. Who is orchestrating this violence and are you talking to them behind the scenes? Well, uh, it, it, the police are not saying who's orchestrating it. They haven't said that people are orchestrating it and there's violence on both sides. Uh, but we have had people out on the ground on both nights and uh, one of our councillors, Brian Kingston, who represents the area, has been out all afternoon talking to local residents because they're sending a message clear. They don't want people coming into the area to create violence. They don't want this rioting to continue. They want it to stop because but it's it doing no happen, good to the area. It doesn't happen on a whim, Mr Dodds. There must be some sort of coordination. Well, for that, we have to be guided by the police. And the police are saying that clearly there are people who have backgrounds who are involved, but they're saying it's not orchestrated. And there is deep anger and frustration in the unionist community at all levels about the way in which the summer has gone with the deplorable and one-sided decisions of the Parades Commission, which have you know, granted dissident Republican parades, parades up in that area without restriction, and yet given severe restrictions to loyal order parades, which gave a dissident Gark parade up on the Ardoin at a time when they had banned the, the loyal order from coming back from their homeward parade. So there's great f anger and frustration in the unions committee at the injustice, and particularly when they see Republican bands being able to play outside uh, Protestant churches and, and IRA commemorations happening with Sinn Féin representatives taking part in it, and sounds, nothing's done about it. That sounds like justification no, it isn't. for the trouble. No, it's justification for the anger. It's justification for the frustration, but it is no justification for the violence. We are making it very, very clear the violence must not happen and it should stop because that only harms people in their own community, and that is the message that came out very clearly from people in the lower uh, Shankill area today. We asked the Orange Order for a television interview Interview. They declined to do it. They said no one uh, was available. But on radio today, the Reverend Mervyn Gibson and your colleague, the DUP Minister Nelson McCausland, have said that civil disobedience is acceptable in regard to the Parades Commission determinations. When people are angry, that sort of civil disobedience is access acceptable. Surely that is not justified well, either. I, I, civil disobedience, I have seen people going out and doing white line protests, both in the Republic and Unionist side all the time. That technically is illegal, but it's permitted so by the police. So what would be because acceptable? It's peaceful. In, well, well, what, what would what, be acceptable The way forward then? in all of this, the way forward in all of this is to have that quiet diplomacy and the conversation and discussions away from the megaphone diplomacy that some churchmen and others have engaged in unhelpfully and which some people speak on from on high. But on the ground, that conversation that needs to happen about how we can resolve these issues. Now, unionist politicians and nationalist politicians in North Belfast have been working together on social and economic issues. We delivered the Girdwood Project, £10 million of investment from Europe. There were good constructive talks also happening between representatives of the North and West mm -hmm. Belfast Parades Forum and nationalists, including members of the loyal orders. Well, do you and they, that, unfortunately, what happened then is instead of allowing that to progress, the Parades Commission stepped in and it uttered, issued a totally incomprehensible and biased determination. You, you, say, you say the unionist community is angry at the Parades Commission. Will that unionist community, the anger, be dissolved before the end of September and the Ulster Covenant Parade? Well, the police are exceptionally concerned about that. Well, we're all concerned, but I remain very, very hopeful that good constructive engagement can happen. I've been encouraged by some of the discussions that have happened already. We were engaged in discussions with the, ch the Chief Superintendent for North Belfast today. There are other discussions that are going on away from the glare of the cameras, even today, yesterday, and will happen tomorrow. We will continue with that. But I have to say also the media have a responsibility in this because people in the unionist community see this ban going round and round the circle played endlessly, but they never see any Republican bans outside Protestant churches being played. We have and they always don't covered we well, have well, always I have covered say, both sides I hope, very fairly. Well, I, I, I think on this occasion, Donna, I, I think it's very, very clear that there has been a one-sided approach to the issue of Parades. Well, I disagree with you front. totally, as would well, the BBC. I'm sure you would. But thank you for your but opinion, Mr Dodds. Thank you very much.